Let's check this Father's Day forecast. Hi, John Elliott. How you doing? I got to tell you, I do miss that tradition where co-workers would bring in the sign-up sheet for the cookies. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get those numbers back up for the Girl Scouts. Uh, our numbers are going to be up. It is going to be a hot and humid day today. It feels comfortable right now. Sun peeking through a pretty mix of sun and clouds here in West Essex and in the city as well. But we are concerned about more active weather Monday into Tuesday. Right now in the city, comfortable, and we're at 68 degrees. Winds out of the west-southwest at 5 miles an hour. Nice variety around the area as far as temperatures go, and we are rain free with the heat and humidity. About a 20% chance of a pop up shower later today. Now, the rainmaker for Monday is a front and what's left of Claudette. So I want to point out that you know, there the, are the, the two systems that combine to serve up the risk of severe weather. Claudette is actually going to miss us. It will be steered away because of that front pushing through the lakes. However, the proximity of the rotation left from Claudette could kick some moisture back in. If it interacts with that front, we see the potential for severe weather Monday into Tuesday. Your day today, you can see the timestamp on top of the TV screen. There will be a few passing pop-up showers. These are the kind that just kind of make everybody race inside, get some potato salad, and then go back outside. Now tonight, a shower or two, I think your Monday morning drive should be okay. It's Monday later in the day and at night where we see that front push through. Watch for the bright colors. Do you see that? Pretty well defined front. It's going to push into what will be a very muggy air mass, so you have ample moisture and instability. So we're concerned about a severe storm late Monday and then more coverage of the rain Tuesday. So it's not a continuous event, but it's on and off Monday through Tuesday. Risk of severe weather tonight is relatively low, but watch the bright colors on the screen migrate closer to our area from Monday into Tuesday. So if Monday's a travel day for business or pleasure, remember if you're heading north or west, you have a better chance of running into some of those storms. And then we see the possibility of some localized flooding too. 89 today pop-up shower possible. Overnight tonight, again, a, a, a stray shower possible. It's later on Monday into Tuesday, and Monday's high of 88, you're really going to feel it, too. It's going to be very humid. In the seven-day, what you do notice, though, is a big drop. I mean, it's well over 10 degrees cooler from today into Wednesday, and that air mass is going to feel fantastic. So Father's Day is about family, and a family that plays together stays together. Need proof of that? We'll just head down to the Silver Ball Retro Arcade and Museum in Asbury Park. What's it like to play these games with your grandson? It's a blast. It's so cool to go back to the old school stuff and uh, play this because it's more analog than it is digital. More uh, skill based than it is uh, hand-eye coordination stuff, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, it's always good to be exposed to the old school games so that you know what people back then used to be able to, you know, play and how they entertain themselves. So it's funny you say, like, people back then. That would be me. <laughs> Who won, you or your grandson? He always wins. <laughs> you have to use different aspects of your brain. And use, like, you know, your competitiveness. What do you love about skee-ball? It's mindless. You just, just throw stuff. That's it. <laughs> you have fun, though? Oh, yeah. Well, it brings back memories of uh, when I was a teenager at the local uh, diner. I don't even know what's going on here. I like the old pinball games and uh, the 1980s video games. I can't get Miss Pac-Man to eat anything. So you're introducing the next generation yes. to classic games. Why? I, I think they're original. I think they're better. Oh, so. Who's going to win, you or the kids? Most likely him. <laughs> Look at this place. It's amazing. All these old machines, they're so cool. Game over. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're much better than I am. I, I got to tell you, it's so interesting. You can either be just uh, wrapped up in mindless fun, or you can really analyze what's going on. And as we were talking to uh, some of the folks enjoying time with family, some po folks put a lot of thought into this at the uh, Silver Ball Retro Arcade and Museum down in Asbury Park. Cindy, I know you would love it. <laughs> I know, but you know, when, when I think back at games I liked, I loved, remember Pong? The little, the, the first yes. video game that ever came out? I, I, that's what I'm into. <laughs> I showed Rosie that go. actually, and it's hard for kids to, today to believe that that was exciting to us. So, John, thank you.